Number one, a 63 kilogram sprinter starts a race with an acceleration of 4.2 meters per second squared. What is the net external force on him? All right, so here we have a little picture. Here's our sprinter and his mass is 63 kilograms. And he's traveling, let's just say in the X direction uh, with an acceleration of 4.2 meters per second squared. <clears throat> so we need to find the net force on him. So take a look on the right hand side. In order to find net force, one of the useful formulas is to know that the sum of the forces okay, in the X direction will equal the mass of the particular object multiplied by the acceleration in that same direction. So there's only one object, right? And only one acceleration. So as far as the sum, it's really not going to really matter here. Uh, but I like to use the formula anyway. So all we basically have to do is just plug it in, right? So the sum of all the forces in the X direction, meaning the net force, right? That's what that represents, will equal 63.0 kilograms. I'll leave out the units multiplied by 4.20 meters per second squared. Now the mass must be in kilograms, okay, and the acceleration must always be in meters per second squared. So the sum of all the forces in that x direction will simply be now, so 63 times 4.2. Don't forget significant figures. So in considering significant figures, we would round to 265. All right, and that now is in, we could write it in kilogram, right, hold on. We can write a kilogram meter per second squared, okay? Or this is the same thing as Newton, okay? So 260, 65 Newtons. And that would be the final answer. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.